What we're now going to do is fit some of the screws to the motor to attach it to the chassis. So choose place, go to the structures folder and locate one of the locate one of the screws which is 6-32 and it's 0 0.25 inches long and choose open. We're going to choose to place two of these per motor. So again choose to place those in a close enough position to see those. And very quickly now we're going to choose constrain. We're going to choose to insert and again it's going to be this underside edge and the centre to fit to the top edge and the centre there. Repeat this process again. So that's okay. And we're now going to repeat this process again. Choose insert. So that's okay. These screws are now in place and the motors are now locked into place. Now what we're going to do is close this assembly create a new assembly and into this new assembly we're going to bring in two of those assemblies we've just completed which will now form sub-assemblies of a larger assembly so choose place locate assembly 3 which is the the assembly I've created so far and we're now going to place one two of these and select OK this will save us repeating the process of of what we've just achieved already. And what we're now going to do is we're now going to set up some simple parameters to get them to mirror one another. So choose constraint. We're going to choose a mate option for the top surface of the chassis to the top surface here. We're going to choose flush and select OK. And this should hopefully allow us to, to pull one assembly apart from the other. And what we're now going to do is choose to mate this edge here I'm going to choose the opposing edge on the other side, like so, and choose flush. And when we now pull the two assemblies apart, we should now see the makings of our tumbler.